Hello again. I'm going to do that brief uh, video, like I said, on some new equipment I got recently uh, from Ben's Backwoods. Real quick service. Got it like in a day, two days after uh, he shipped it out. So, but uh, ordered on Saturday, got it on a Wednesday, and the holiday was on Monday. So, first off, uh, I had a Radio Shack weather radio. I had the thermometer on, it gave you weather alert and everything. I'm still wanting to get another weather alert radio. But I'm just going to hold off and get a set of uh, two-way radios with it in so it can dual purpose for hunting and that also be a weather band. But uh, for now, I just picked up a Sunto uh, thermometer through Benz. Uh, it's got a built-in compass. Sunto's a uh, good brand. That's what my uh, global compass is. Uh, has a windshield uh, scale on the back, but unless you know what the wind's blowing, the speed, this really doesn't do you any good. All are from Benz. I didn't use it today, but I used it at home a couple times. It was one of these uh, Swedish uh, cups, coffee cups, tea cups, whatever you want to call it. It's eight ounces, hard plastic. They say it won't melt. I've had some hot coffee in it already, and it's held up good. I have a coarse one when I sort of like the aesthetic, aesthetics of it, but uh, this is nice, too, especially if somebody else shows up at your campsite right, and they don't have a cup, and you can offer them a cup of coffee. Uh, last thing I got was a... Uh, 8x10 uh, edible outfitters tarp went with the uh, foliage uh, camouflage pattern. Uh, trying to be a little more stealthy whenever I'm in areas like around my home. I'm not so obvious. I felt the other green that they had was a little bit uh, stuck out like a sore thumb, especially when the leaves come down and uh, or in the winter. It doesn't matter in the winter. It's still going to, this will stick up a little bit. But if you put it in a good position, uh, Really don't use it on a lean-to fashion a whole lot of times. A lot of times I put it up above me. It's keeping me in my uh, cooking area and my fire dry. So just make sure you keep it up high enough so it doesn't burn. I already have some rope on the four quarters, uh, some 550 uh, paracord. I'm planning on uh, throwing a few more lines on the other way. Uh, I was watching uh, Mike at uh, Bushcraft Northwest. He's got a really uh, slick way of putting up a tarp um, with guy lines and everything. So I'm going to set this up like that. This is what I got now. Uh, I'm looking at getting a uh, army style uh, army issue uh, Gore-Tex bivy surplus and a pair of snowshoes here. Uh, I actually had some snow this week up at my camp, so I'm hoping we'll get a chance to use them. I'm just getting a uh, used pair, so I'm going to spend a whole lot of money that I want to save up so I'm going to have to get another camera. You've seen that on my videos. So. But, uh, hey, thanks everyone for uh, tuning in to my, uh, my channel and subscribing. Like I said, uh, give me some time. I'm going to just wait and get a better camera before I start doing some serious uh, videos on uh, like the first aid uh, treatment for yourself, uh, especially uh, ones that you're going to be doing uh, where you're going to be only able to use one hand because your other arm is going to be injured or in. So that, I want you to see everything that gets to be done. So, but uh, Well, I'm going to get the other videos posted and uh, hopefully I don't have to post more than one or two uh, on there. So, hey, look forward to seeing your guys' videos out there as well. So, hey, everyone, thanks for tuning in again.